So you guys turned the Bulette into a trout, uh, enticed follower, hoping that he would live up to his namesake, and then headed east again, blindly trudging through Eldrick's woods in hopes of some sign of the druid. Oh, uh, damn it. What? I forgot. I wanted to check out the well, but it's too late now. Never mind. I mean, there, there's a trout in the well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so the group sets out east and heads, you know, heads onward. Uh, the sun is beginning to set. Uh, it won't be long before you need to rest. But before that, um, does anybody need or want to do anything else other than search through the woods? Nope. I did want to ask Udnar something. Sure. Okay. So, Udnar, uh, a little while back, we had that morning we woke up with the, the flowers everywhere. Did anything come of that? I'm trying to remember which morning that was. When all the birds came and dropped flowers into the camp. Like, what part of the, like, adventure were we on? What were we going to do? Well, that was before Treetop, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. By that was after point. Chain died. That was ap the first time? Or the second time? The second time. <laughs> You're right. It was, the, it was the first time you turned a 30-foot radius around yourself into a cloud of undead dust. Oh, that time. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. What became of that? Nothing too special? I mean, it's awfully a grand display for no real payoff, don't you think? No real payoff. Souls were set to rest. I'd say that's a pretty big payoff. Is that what that was? No, that was just a sign. No big deal. All right, then. Keep your secrets. <laughs> and I'll walk off. I'm, like, confused that you don't understand <laughs> that, like, it was really nothing. It's fine. But you see, Madame Beldum thinks that potentially thousands of crows bringing by lilies is definitely not nothing. Sure. So. Whereas I know that it's an omen from a deity that I commune with. Sure. Yeah. I think Madame Beldum was hoping you would communicate that. Sure. I mean, I would hope that she would just assume that, like, that's what I mean. Is that like, so, oh, that's just like, yeah, that's just this god, you know, saying that, like, things are okay. It's fine. Well, the point being that you're the first real cleric that any of them have ever seen, perhaps even heard of. So uh -huh. pretty much anything like that is is still, there. There is no there is no safe assumption. Uh-huh. Okay. But I wouldn't as recognize that. that. Right, as long as that's been communicated clearly to everybody involved. All right. Mm -hmm. um, punch the microphone. I just like this so. idea that the miscommunication is Beldum thinks I know all of this, like, grand mm -hmm. plan, and I'm really mm -hmm. just, like, here <laughs> living well, it with along you guys. for the ride. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, after another hour or so of stumbling through the woods, you come across, just by pure happenstance, a small stone pedestal. Um, it, it appears blank or flat on top. It's just uh, embedded into the ground itself. Um, over the last hour or so, the group has been, has been unable to shake the feeling that they're being watched. You guys feel like we're being watched? Yep. Cool. Me too. Well, we've got follower following us, right? Do we <laughs> look? If you look back behind you, you do occasionally see the small tumbled earth trail um, appear for a few moments, almost as though he's periscoping to make sure that you're still where he thinks you are. 
<laughs> yeah, it must just be that. <laughs> Picture. She's making that facial expression and everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's now how I see Belnum in my head. Yeah, for everything. It's just yeah, it just has a Frodo face. It's like <laughs> like the the female analog of Elijah Wood. Um, I guess like I'm gonna do this. Is this okay? And just kind of like survey the surroundings quickly to see if I see anything that might be amiss. Uh, with your excellent perception, uh, for the briefest of moments, you catch a glimpse of glowing, um, well, I guess, kind of, yeah, yellow, like glowing yellow eyes uh, that disappear just behind a tree, uh, accompanied by the large cat on which they are housed. Does this look like the same cat that I caught a glimpse of at the camp? On glimpses alone, yes. The same cat that stalked us at camp last night follows us now, and I just point to where I saw the eyes for a moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, true to form. Egg. <laughs> what if it really is a transformed druid? We haven't exactly stated our intentions at any point. Hmm. I'll give somebody a gold piece to call out to it. I mean, I'll call out to it. I don't know what to say. I'll just say hi, <laughs> like hello. No, I just call call out for Eldrick the Druid. And, and oh, I it. see. You're under the impression it might be Eldrick. Yeah. Okay. And that and that we come seeking to help him end the plague. And other stuff, but we'll get to that. <laughs> okay. I'll just kind of like step a little bit forward, cut my hands around my mouth, and just say, Eldrick, we come in peace? <laughs> you want to try rolling diplomacy so that you yeah. actually say something? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Have a guidance boot before you do that. Uh, There is no diplomacy in this edition. Uh, Sorry, whatever the fuck this appropriate skill is. Persuasion? Yeah. Sure. That one. Don't forget your guidance. Oh, okay. So. So add that on top, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. You call out to the mist. Uh... You know, it's some some manner of communicating that you're here to to treat with Eldrick, uh, that you mean him no harm, and that you come on a quest of grave importance, and uh, you know, get it? Grave importance. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you you communicate that message to nobody in particular, and hope that it will pay off. There is Are no immediate response. There is here? still a stone pedestal in the middle of nowhere that nobody's addressed. We should we should look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at it. I look at the pillar. Pedestal. Pedestal. <laughs> is there are there is there any writing on it or relief you, work or roll perception? Um, so as you're looking it over, uh, you notice that there is some intricate, intricate, uh, leaf work and scroll work on it. Uh, no wording, but just like vivid imagery of animals, uh, just like in a, like almost like a spiral up it, like a, like a food chain. And in, at the top is a great 
feline or cat like looking creature uh and then on the very top of the pedestal is an is a is a depression where it looks like something has been placed enough times to wear the stone down uh but no sign of anything that would fit there hmm maybe whatever was supposed to be here was stolen mhm mm a relic of some kind. Do we want to press further or attempt to set camp here? I'm looking again for the eyes. Um... You believe you may spot them at some point off in the distance, but uh, you never get you never get a steady look. At this point, you aren't sure if it's your eyes confirming what you see or creating what you want to see. Loud taco. Yeah, she's <laughs> in the other room, not wanting to go to bed. Hmm. Growing up, gotta move her bed time. <laughs> <laughs> no, she passes out usually around this time. Uh, but if we're setting camp here, I'm going to need 11 minutes to prepare something. Um, yeah, I'm just deciding what we should maybe do about these weird eyes that may or may not be there watching us. Hopefully what I have prepared will give us some comfort. Okay. So are we setting camp here? That's why. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the shape of the depression on top of the pedestal, like how big is it and, and what's it in the shape of? So the pedestal itself is like a, a column that just is buried in the earth, but sticks up about three feet. Um, and then at the top of it is like the, the square plate where you would place whatever your offering is. Right. Um, and then, so the depression itself, it looks like something um, rectangular has been placed on top of it r repeatedly. Rectangular. Right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm not opposed maybe, maybe to the, doing camp here. Maybe the length of a hand. I'm cool with doing camp here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's set up camp then. Okay. Sound like Rumble wanted to do something before we set it up, though? Uh... uh it is part of the camp setup. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Madam Madam Beldum is doing something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find a clearing and begin ritual casting. Okay. Ah. Eat. More than nine creatures, creatures not going to the dome. Can move through it freely. All the creatures not are barred from passing through it. Spells not going effect can extend through. Okay, Leoman's tiny hut. Got it. And I don't know if this was going to be a matter of contention, but I did get a Jeremy Crawford ruling that it indeed does have a magical floor. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I am aware. Okay. I. I know all the ways to get around it, but Tiny Hut is I am sacrificing a spell slot to make sure that our rest is safe. Except it's ritual cast now, so it's not even a spell slot. It's just a known spell. Hmm. Interesting. That's pretty handy. Mm hmm. The third level, huh? Yep. Bummer. 
there there are ways around it, but mm -hmm. I mean that that requires an investment and and a level of fuck you that I'm not ready to <laughs> employ. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, as for my uh, guest list, our party, and then follower, and then I I don't know if this would work. Like, would I? Like, have enough information about Aldric to allow him in? I don't think so. Uh, because I mean, so could you, I think that you need, like, I think that you have to be able, you could name Eldric, but then anybody named Eldric would be able to pass through. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, how many people named Eldric do you think are around? You never know. Could he, could he Actually, specify I, I exactly. male elf named Eldric? <laughs> he could. <laughs> That would filter it down a little further. I think that the spell would would match intent if it is clear. So like point at Petalin and say Petalin, point at Unar, say Unar, that kind of thing. Because um, it's, it's up to the spellcaster. Right. I, I, I would argue that some familiarity is needed with the mm. target in order to allow yeah. them. So yeah. I'll, I'll leave them off for now. Okay. Uh, party plus follower. Got it. Okay. Uh, are you still going to be taking watches? Uh, we kind of need to, don't we? It wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. Just so, just, I mean, so this thing, this tiny hut, it's opaque from the outside, right? Um, but what does our, in, like, in immediate environment look like? Uh, pretty close to what you see in the camp image, actually. But instead of a fire, it's and, column. Yeah, and instead of living foliage, it's dead. Um, I'm going to make the outside brown to kind of match with the dirt around us. Okay. But it's, it's opaque is the point. So whatever that cat thing is that's that may or may not be stalking us might come in for a closer look, but we'll be able to see out at it and maybe get a good glimpse of it. Yeah. So yep, I say we take watches. watches. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, mobile dome. Uh, spell fails. All of the creatures, spells, blah, 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 blah. Where's the opaque part? Oh, the dome is opaque from the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And transparent from the inside. Okay. All right. So standard watch order. Yep. 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 So. Give me your perception checks. Oops. Now we're not on 2GM. Damn it. Uh, also, that's not standard order that I got them in. So, uh, remind me again. Is it hey, Madam, me, oh, oh, Egg, okay. Udnar. Okay. Uh, egg, Udnar. Okay. Uh, Madam Beldum, through your watch. Uh, the night is largely uneventful. Um, there are a few creatures that you see heading westward at some point, but otherwise are uninterrupted. What do you do through your watch? Uh, since I have some time, um, I would have ritual cast detect magic and okay. take a look at the wounds that I received from the boulette. Definitely some necrotic energy there. Oh, I need you to make a constitution save. Yes, necrotic energy. Damn. Oh, shit, and I don't have it. Readied, so I can't really do anything with testing on it. Okay. Um, I guess it's astromancy time. Okay. I believe that's good. Let me pull the book up. Hold on. Yes, that's good. All right. Um... <laughs> yep, that's good. 
I don't know how many you need from me. That's good. Okay, so that's oh, that's going to be one spell because you're up in the high enough spell levels. It's going to take the whole time. Right. Um. Yeah, because it's it's largely the first rule that determines how far I let you go. So I need the link. And what are you up to? Event Horizon was the last one. All right, so you have Event Horizon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're on Summon Stardust Companion now. So here's that. And then for anybody else that wants to see it. So I imagine you're going to spend your time copying that. Is that right? Um, I'm actually going to spend my time copying Foresight. Okay. In which case, let's go ahead and move on to our next watch. The pedal in. And you rolled that. Uh, what do you do on your watch? Walk me through it. Okay, so I am going to be just kind of scouting out eyes casting over the the forest and listening to see if I can hear followers scraping around and kind of absentmindedly tinkering with the the various trophies that are in my pack mm -hmm. keeping them organized and sure string them together and whatnot mm -hmm. okay uh so while you're doing all that, you're largely preoccupied, and uh, there is a point at which Follower pops up through the floor of Leoman's tiny hut, uh, looks around, spots you, and dives back underneath. <laughs> well, I already fed him er earlier. It's Egg's turn. Mm-hmm. Well, I believe it's also Egg's turn to take watch. Yes. So walk yep. me through your watch. Um, I'm going to start just read out loud from the children's storybook to mm -hmm. both a uh, follower if he shows up and to the uh, the bonsai bush. Okay. Uh. As you're reading, um, you notice that the bonsai bush begins to wilt. Almost instantaneously, like it just begins to wilt and decay slightly. Um, you can see the leaves curling in on themselves. The, the branches, um, they, there's, a, there's a brittleness to them. And uh, all the little buds that were the, going to be berries the next day just kind of shrivel and fall off. And as it happens, uh, you look up, and with the perception check of your watch, uh, you see a pale gray flash of white um, just literally flashing past your eyes as it moves incredibly rapidly past the, uh, the tiny hut. Um, a few moments later, Follower pops up into the tent and quickly curls up next to you. Okay. <laughs> well, I uh attempt to pet him, I guess. I don't know how armored he is. It's it's leathery, but leathery, yeah. Yeah. Little cool. right. belly rub. Seem seems to have a some sort of calming effect and he quickly falls asleep. Mm-hmm. For the first time, actually, near you. Uh, I suppose that'll be the, the, the gist of your watch. Um, right. Give me one moment here. I need to look. What are you talking about? Range. Oh, I'm looking at start. Where's Foresight? D -D. Foresight. 30 feet. Is it? A... 
Yeah, it's supposed to be touch. It's not supposed to be 30 feet. Okay. Just a typo. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's that's the gist of your watch. Um, you know, that, that pale gray flash runs by um, looking very distinctly horse-like. And mm-hmm. the, the bond, you know, just before that, the bonsai bush wilted. And uh, as you can see clearly out of the hut, uh, any of the plant life that was there shriveled further and decayed, you know, more rapidly. Um, that happens. Your watch comes to an end, and then it's Udinar. All right. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I would like to spend some time concentrating on the small diamond-shaped medallion that I got out of uh, the pants of Letty. Mm-hmm. And just, like, focus on it, I guess, and see if it has any properties magical properties to, to it are you are you casting detect magic uh you know what yeah let's do that um it does it does faintly have the presence of divination magic okay okay um I am going to... Where was I bit? Did we ever decide? I don't think so. Let's say one of the bites was on my arm, so I'm just going to sure. start like rubbing the arm, and I'm going to actually, now that I can do this, because I have a slot for it, I'm going to cast that at fourth level and see okay. if that does anything. It does not. Shit. Okay. Okay. Um, other than that, I'm going to take out my holy symbol, my coin, and uh, start spinning it and start meditating and see if I can get a hold of any one this time. The coin spins as it did before, uh, with the weight of a coin and nothing else. Interesting. Okay, so as you keep your eyes out uh, otherwise through the remainder of your watch, um, there is a point where a large striped cat, and I mean large, uh, walks up near the hut, turns around, and then walks away from the hut. You can see uh, that it bears a few wounds that are festering and and plagued. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Okay. Interesting. All right. Sun begins to rise. Yeah. I uh, start waking everybody as I generally do. Okay. Okay. Uh, Perhaps the largest surprise to anybody waking up is that follower is nestled up next to Egg. <laughs> the uh, the tiger came back during my watch. Well, uh, I believe the horse ran by during mine. There was a a white pale white flash, and uh, all the plants kind of got worse. Also, my bonsai bush. The bonsai bush is uh, withered. Uh, it looks a little bit better now, being a magical plant, but it, no mm. berries are produced today. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. What about you two? I saw nothing. Hmm. Nothing interesting happened for me. I I tried to dispel the necrotic magic that seems to be part of this affliction. It did nothing. Uh, So Udinor, Egg, and Madame Beldum, uh, you regain one hit dice worth of HP. You don't fully heal. Okay. 
I was at full health, so. Okay. Go. There is now a small green veining at the source of each of your wounds. Crap. Rudner, did you try and dispel the magic or remove a curse? Dispel the magic. Yeah. Since it seems as that you that. were detecting that it was of a magical nature. Well, the the same thing had happened when uh, Edelin turned to who? Or no, it was the it was the blindness and deafness on chain. Because I did cast detect magic back then. Did I get magic reads off of it on the black goo? Yeah. Yeah, it was magic. Okay. So we've been able to detect magic in the past, mm -hmm. but that was more specifically a curse that got him. I don't know if you want to attempt using a spell to remove a curse. Uh, yes. I will do so. And then I'll just like... Get just... yourself Who do you first. Me. Because in the event that... Mm. We need to do this more. You're the one who can do it. All right. So you stick your finger on your wound and uh, you know, wiggle your fingers and say the magic <laughs> words. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, no effect. Well, there goes one spell slot. Yep. Doesn't seem to be helping. Mm -hmm. I have one more trick up my sleeve that I'll try. And then I'll go over to Egg this time. And I'll lightly touch his shoulder. And then just like slowly begin to squeeze it. And like no say effect. an incantation. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. This is beyond gonna a, me. I'm going to have a wicked scar. Yeah. <laughs> also, thus ends Leoman's tiny hut, I believe. Yeah, how long yeah, does that yeah, last? Eight hours. Eight. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I believe this is beyond me as well. Cool. Not exactly. Oh, the opposite of that. Yeah. Very opposite of cool. It's hot. Not really, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, we're doomed. Uh, can we... Take another look at that pedestal now that we actually have daylight. Sure. I guess I'm not sure what I would be looking for here. Yeah, I, what are you hoping to find? I don't know, because what we gathered last night where there were there was a drawing of animals on it and an indentation. Mm-hmm. But well, so the the animals like they they spiral all the way around the column itself, up to up to the the big great cat at the top, and then uh, on top of that is the big square plate where you then put the the thing where the indentation is. Mm. Maybe Eldrick would have more information maybe it's something related to him since these are his woods yeah perhaps um one thing that everybody might notice are the large cat paw trail or tracks uh leading out of camp 
Are there also hoof prints? Uh, there are some hoof prints, but the uh, they aren't as deep. We could follow the cat. I think let's, we should try to track the, the horse. That horse was going very fast. We Kill were also explicitly told to beware of the horse. Yeah. We can be wary of it and still track it. I don't know if we have enough information about this horse. It seems Eldrick would have some knowledge regarding the plague since he has seen it firsthand. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you think that the cat will lead us to Eldrick? It's possible. I find it a strange omen that this cat has been following and watching us and yet never attacking. Even when it clearly it could have done a so. It's strange. But do we really want to fight that thing? Hmm. Uh, one option we have is to do some aerial scouting and see if I can find any sort of landmarks that we can head towards. Aerial scouting? I can transform myself into an animal. Since when? Since I added some new pages to my spellbook. Oh, wow. Don't you remember the fish? <laughs> I remember the fish, but that's... It's one thing to turn an enemy into a fish. It's another thing to turn yourself into a bird. I think turning yourself into a bird would be easier. Yeah, agreed. You should turn egg into a bird. No. Agreed. <laughs> or a fish. Don't do that. Or a fish. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> but if you were a fish, you wouldn't be able to drown. <sighs> or breathe All your air. problems would and be I would drown in the air. <laughs> I'd drown on land. All right, well, let's let's have the madam do a little bit of scouting. And then I guess the consensus is to follow the cat and to see if the cat will lead us to A, Eldrick, or B, whatever item is missing from the pedestal, which is probably a shrine to the cat anyway. Yeah, unless the madam sees some landmark that all right. seems worth exploring. Like the logging camp. All right, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I, okay. So I will shape of giant eagle. <laughs> okay. Um, which is a challenge rating of one, so I'm good. And Eagle has keen sight, advantage on perception checks, and okay. has plus four to perception. So having an hour, I guess I would kind of want to fly straight up to kind of get a lay of the land. Okay. Before kind of doing a, a more thorough sweep. Okay. Um... I guess give me three perception checks. Uh, these will need to have plus four added to them. Okay. Uh, so largely, you can see that you are in 
uh, or you you can you can almost clearly see the borders of what you would consider to be Aldrich's woods, or at least where the plague uh, has taken root. Um, they are, I mean, based off your your guesstimation from your aerial viewpoint, um, maybe another day to the east, a couple of days north, a couple of days south. You did enter like right in the center, uh, from the western edge. Uh, back the way you came, you spot the logging camp, uh, and you can see that it is largely deserted if you if you decide to hover that way. Um, and then lastly, uh, the very last thing you spot is that maybe uh, a couple of miles from where you guys were uh, to the southeast, you spot another one of the pedestals near a small waterfall. You said it was not too far off within my time limit. Would I be able to fly, get a glance at it, and come back still? Sure. I will go ahead and fly that direction then. Do you alight? Like, are you going to land? Um, no, I don't want to touch the ground. Okay. Uh, so you're you're hovering over... The pedestal, like doing circles around you, mm-hmm. just trying to get a just good look at it. it. Yeah, to see if it just looks identical to the one before. From where you are, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, you can't see the details uh, from where you are. You would probably need to land. Uh, I, can I perch in a tree nearby? Sure. As the branch snaps from my giant eagle form. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but an arrow does whiz just by. What's your AC in eagle form? Um, 13. Yeah, just whizzes past. Uh, there is a cackling, like a... Almost like, a, like an animalistic laugh. And another arrow sails just wide. I'm going to get the fuck out of dodge. Okay. And I'm going to head back to the group. All right. You land, and shortly thereafter, uh, if you don't dispel it yourself, your spell will end. What's everybody been doing for an hour? I've been checking on the bonsai tree, seeing how it's holding up. Put out a piece of meat for... A follower. Okay. The meat disappears. The bonsai is in rough shape, but um, it's not dead. And it doesn't look good. Uh, gotcha. Feeling like the rest didn't make me feel completely better, I think I'll probably do two of those. Okay. So you're going to you take a short rest during the hour? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you get half of that healing. Rounded down, right? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to spend my hour inside the portable hole. <laughs> trying on various bits of armor that we have in there. Okay, do you have armor in there? I I don't, but we've picked up armor here and there, and I'm just like trying it on that's, to see. That's what I'm fit. saying. Is is there is in the list, is there armor in there? Nope. Oh, then there's no bits of armor. No, 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 no. I, no, I mean, there's no armor in there that would fit me, is what I mean. No, that's not how it works in D&D. Is there armor in there? Uh, I feel like there was. I'm looking now. What did you guys do with Chain's body? Is it still in there? It's still in the hole, yeah. yeah still still in there. Doesn't he have armor? Let's yeah, see. he does. Let's see, what's he got? Dead boys, broken chain, character sheet. Uh, leaves tools, cards, hooded cloak. He does have leather armor. Cool. So you could you could strip chains leather armor. Ah, fuck it. I will. 
Also, nobody reposed him again, and it's been some time, I think. It hasn't been ten days. No? Not since he was reposed? No. Okay. Been like five. Hmm. I thought we were closer to six or seven, but I may have lost count. I definitely lost count, so... We'll call it we'll call it seven then. And you know what? I don't just to be fair. I don't know if frankly he's worth the uh the spell slot at this point, <laughs> maybe. Isn't repose a cantrip? Uh it might be. Remember? <laughs> I'm like ninety percent sure it is. Now I'm looking. Apparently not on my list anymore that's awesome mm. yeah i think you're right though i think so. all right so um pedal in or you know emerges from within the portable hole now sporting uh, some leather armor that she has somehow managed to finagle into fitting. It is a second level spell. <laughs> oh, really? Gentle repose? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It just seems like a cantrip because you get it for f or I got it for free. Hmm. Also, clerics don't really have much for second level spells, so. Yeah, they're pretty much all support stuff. Yeah. yeah. The eagle, formerly known as Madame Beldum, arrives back at camp. So, what say you? Well, I was shot at. By who? I got out of there before I could honestly get a look, but southeast of here, there seems to be another pedestal near a waterfall. I was trying to see if it was identical, perched into a tree, and had two arrows flung at me. Hmm. It was an odd cackling as well, so not fully confident it's human. I think that's a good lead to find Eldrick, because who else would be out here? That's kind of what I'm wondering, too. I didn't see much else from the air. I saw the abandoned logging camp. I saw the edges of the blight. I don't think it's a bad idea to go check that area out and take a look at the pedestal and yeah. survey it. I'm fine with that. Okay, so you guys are going to now head to the southeast to try to find that other pedestal? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so you're moving in alignment with the cat tracks for a little bit, uh, but then where Lavinia mentions that you need to, to you know, diverge towards the south slightly, you'll notice that you're no longer following the, the trail, which uh, very clear tracks were left um, and easy to follow. But as you as you dip down to the south and head down there, um, you know, deeper into the woods, you see a cliffside uh, looming before you before too long. And uh, there appears to be a waterfall tainted green uh, not too far off. Uh, Madame Beldum feels as though this is pretty clearly where she was before, um, maybe 60, 70 feet from where you are now. And just on the other side of a tree, you spot the pedestal. I'll go ahead and move everybody to it. Make sure that it's lit up. It's not there. Oh. Okay, I see. However, uh, as Madame Beldum is keen to to her memory and remembers um, she points out at the top of the cliffside where she suspects the attacks came from and you can see several creatures crouched at atop the cliff scanning the sky uh, they look like furry bipedal dogs hmm 
Mm. Well, they we need to go. They don't seem to have spotted you. Well, we need to check out that pedestal, but something tells me they're not going to let us get near it. Now you recover. Well, at the moment, we have the advantage because they're still looking for a giant bird. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're friendly. Let's call that plan B. <laughs> um, I mean, we could just try to sneak up to the pedestal and take a look at it without them knowing. That is to say, you guys and I will stay here in case trouble <laughs> happens, because I will give way to our position. Um, okay, well, I spot, have... How many can we see? Uh, five? Five of them. Well, I have the boots. I guess I'll try to sneak. But y'all be prepared to defend me if they start attacking. Like, like, um, you know what? Let's just make this a bit easier. And I'm going to pat pedal in on the head and cast invisibility. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. okay. So pop invisibility up. No, not to GM. One action touch. It comes invisible. Anything Target's wearing is invisible. Okay, just invisible. It doesn't give you any mechanical benefits to stealth, so you still sneak, uh, which you should have had advantage on since you're wearing the boots, but so just roll it again. Okay. All right, so Pedalin disappears, and not a whisper is heard as she skulks forward towards the pedestal. You arrive, and the gurgling bubbling of the waterfall stream can be heard nearby as you inspect the stone world. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, I meant to hit this one. Well, I mean, don't don't roll the skill again. Just tell me, and then we'll... Oh, well, I'm looking to see if it's got more carvings on it, if it's similar to the other one. No, I meant, like, you rolled performance, but just tell me you meant to roll perception. Don't roll the dice again. That way you don't have to roll the dice twice, you know? Okay. Um. So you rolled that, plus that. Okay. <sighs> All right, so you're, it's, it's very much identical. Um, you know, it's got a, a ring of creatures going around the center and then a cat at the top um, facing this one facing eastward. Um, well, northeast. Um, it has the same indentation in the top, though perhaps not as deep of a groove. What direction was the cat facing on the other one? East. Hmm. And this one faces... Northeast. Northeast is the... Okay. Yeah, and we just came, we just came from the northwest. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I'll sneak back to the group. Okay. 
if there's nothing different about this one. Nope. So, uh, you arrive back at the group after, well, yeah, go ahead and make another stealth check. Um, unfortunately, you step on a rather loud twig, causing a snap. Uh, the creatures on the top of the ridge let out a hoop, and um, a couple of them begin to descend the cliffside rather rapidly. I suggest we leave. What is that, Madam Bildum? After a long rest. Oh, okay. To do that. Um, you're still here. Uh, you stepped and snapped on a twig. And then you bumble into something else that makes noise. And then something else. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can get there. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Um, everybody else make a stealth check. Now that they're down on your level and looking around. Is that meant to be advantaged? No, I accidentally still had eagle advantage on. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, it appears the group is spotted as one of the creatures pulls out a small horn and lets out two short blasts. Um, they they let out a, a several hoops and uh, a rain of arrows. Um, well, rather, you can see them knocking several arrows to their bows. I guess we should go ahead and roll initiative. Removal turns. Add a turn. Hopefully this takes. Oh. All right. Everybody made it in. Would you look at that? Um, Pedalin, acting fast, uh, has the initiative. Recognizing that the group has been spotted and that the creatures are quickly moving into attack. Okay. We'll start out with... We'll start out with a bless for everybody. Okay. I Ooh. believe that may kill that your invisibility. Invisibility. Yeah. Casting a spell does. Yeah. All right. So Pedalin winks back into existence just a couple of yards away from Udinar. That's for all four of us. Then go ahead and move further back the group. <sighs> and we'll Cast uh, minor illusion of a large bird like the madam and have it fly back up over the cliff is, and going south. Is minor illusion a cantrip? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are, is it a bonus action cantrip or are you quickening it? I'm quickening it. Oh, okay. Okay. You create a bird flying south. Okay. That it? Yep. Uh, the creatures, having spotted grounded quarry, uh, are largely uninterested in the bird. And uh, they get themselves into a position to loose their arrows. This one travels out to the edge of the log. 
three. Uh, this one's gonna move here. This one will move here. So, two shots at Udenar. The first arrow comes in. Uh, that is just missing, uh, wedging itself into your armor plates or scales or rings, whatever you happen to be wearing. Uh, the second arrow following it up, however, does strike home, dealing five damage. Uh, the okay. second creature does the same, loosing its own short bow. The first arrow misses. The second arrow hits the tree right next to you. Um, third creature on the ridge is going to shoot an egg, I think. Let's check. Yeah, egg. Also an egg. That one's going to be. What's the range on this thing? Are you kidding me? I don't care about the proficiency. I care about the item. Oh, 80. All right. So, yes, you are within range. Yeah. 370. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, that's six arrows fired at egg. Uh, miss, 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, hit and hit. All right. Two small feathered arrows punch into Egg's gut, dealing nine damage. And then, Madame Beldum, the initiative is yours. Okay. Oh, nope, that's not the ruler. Uh, let's center a, uh, a fireball. Twenty foot radius. I don't want to hit the pedestal. Okay. So we'll do it to the right of the rightmost ghoulie there. Yeah. Roll twenty, please. Chug chug. Thirty four deck C. Failed and failed. Uh, and how much HP do they have? Ah. Well, they live, but they oh, are singed. And uh, there's nothing left of the tree that was there. Poof. <laughs> splinters. Flaming splinters. As it explodes. Anything else, Madam Beldum? All these rulers on screen. Uh, I guess I can't exactly back up because we're at the edge of the battle map here. Yeah. Then no hold position. Okay. Udinar, you have the initiative. All right. So I think this is going to work. Egg, why is your ruler green? Oh. Good question. It just is. It should match your, your color, but it doesn't for some reason. I'm going to move up to that spot right here. I am going to cast... Where is it? Come on. There. On is it gonna be there? Yeah. All right. Hunt three creatures of your choice that you can see within range, within thirty feet. So, what three? Oh, whoops. Thought I'd change back to my ruler. So that one there. That one there. God damn it! I was off by just a little bit. 
Those two. Is there is there no way to get yourself in range? Uh you know what? If I move over one, I think I can. Let me just see something here. No, there's not. Yeah. One is off by five either way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so sixty five. Those two there is oh. fine. Okay, then let's bane them up. Bane that them can up. be this sad face. <laughs> They're sad. There. And, uh, um... Or, well, wait. Charisma saving throws. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, no, they're sad. <laughs> okay. That's an action. Well, not really as a bonus, but I'll equip my shield. Okay. And just kind of hold... No, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll hold here. That's fine. Okay. Uh, isn't don donning a shield, isn't that an action? Uh, I remember you saying that you can equip stuff with a move okay. action. Ah. Uh, wait, did you moving? move? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Actions in combat. Let me make sure. I think you're right, but... Um... Because I remember something about that being like, yeah, you can like ready your weapon or something as you're running towards something. I'm going to take uh, one standard action or one action. Drop your sword, cast spell, pick your sword back up, blah, blah, blah. Only need. Yeah, it's drawing a weapon. Okay. Does that count as drawing a weapon? Drawing yeah, the shield? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh okay, so then there that you have your shield on and egg you're up. Okay. So I'm going to The play of being uh, melee against archers. Going to run at the sky. Okay. And then I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's my, my, my action. Oh, okay. Pedal in. Okay. And I've readied my weapon. We're going to try a chaos bolt at Mr. Man on top of the log up here. Okay. There. You have to roll it from your attacks. I see that. She's one of the D8s. You want fire damage or cold damage? We'll do fire damage. Okay. So, uh, 24 does hit. And so he takes 7 fire damage. Okay. And then, in keeping with fire damage, we'll try to hit him with that same one with the fire bolt. Okay. Yeah, quickening fire bolt. Yes. And, shit, it didn't do my bless with that. Are you blessed? Yeah. Oh. Did you so upcast blessed? I did up cast bless. She did. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So that would be 13. Mm hmm. So negatory Ghost Rider. That is not a hit. The Firebolt right. sails past. That's my turn. Um, I would like to know that everybody is blessed. Put your little bless bacon on. <laughs> I clicked mine and then it didn't do anything. I'll give you some bless bacon. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, you know, hold on. You may be blessed, but just can't see it. Let me see if that works. Come on. Roll 20. Bless bacon. Yeah. And Lavinia. Bless. All right. So now I know you're blessed. Nice. Oh, okay. 
All right. Anything else? That'll do. All right. So now, back to them. Um, Egg is very close, so that one's going to drop his bow, pull out a short sword, and miss. Uh, the one right next to him is going to take a take a good look at uh, the big. When he misses, sp- I'm going to repost him. Oh, okay. Uh, so I get to do an attack roll. Okay. That's a hit. That's a one. So re-roll, and then add eight to that fifteen. So that's twenty-two damage. All right. 22. Okay. Christ. So he misses. I bat away his weapon yeah. and then yeah. bash him in the yeah, skull. He, he didn't miss. You just knocked it away <laughs> and then put the whap on. Okay. Uh, the other one, seeing this, uh, decides he isn't going to shoot at you. And instead, one, three, four, five, starts climbing the wall. Uh, so it's going to shoot at noodles. That is... Oh, that's a hit. And that's a crit. So I have a hit and a crit on noodles. Uh, okay. So that crit will just be a regular. Okay. I'll mark so that 12 down. damage. Okay. Six and six. Uh, the one on the log is going to take his shots. Uh, that minus 1d4. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, so that's a miss. And one more time. Oh, this this will actually matter on the d4. Oh, fuck. All right, yep, nope, that misses. Uh, so because of Bane, uh, he's just unable to steady the arrow on the bow. And, you know, as he looses it, you can see it flies wide to the side. Um, Nice. And then uh, the one on the far left appears to be a little bit smarter. He says, oh, look at those squishy things in the back. I'm going to shoot at those. They don't have armor on. And uh, Madame Beldum is going to take and a I'm single. I'm going to gravity well. Okay. Uh, so the first one is a miss. Second one... It's still a hit. Bummer. All right. Uh, so six damage. As the arrow finds its way through the through the gravity and punches into you. Sinking in. Uh, and I believe that's all of them, isn't it? Yes. I think so. Uh, Did you get the boy in the middle in the tree? Yeah, he shot. He shot at me. Okay. Madam Beldum, you're up. You have the initiative. All right. I'm going to move up behind Udnar. Mm-hmm. Going to pat him on the back and say, go get them. Uh, there's an extra comma in there. They gained advantage, there? comma. Yeah. I had to hand type them out, so. And then I will firebolt the one that is climbing. Okay. Hoping to knock him down. 16 hits. 11 damage. Uh, that's this much. Okay. All right. He uh, maintains his grip on the rocks, uh, being an expert climber, but you can see a big giant scorch hole burned through the green cloak that he was, the green camouflage cloak that he was wearing. Uh, and a few of his arrows scatter out uh, from the impact. All right, Ud- yeah, that'll end my turn. Udinar, you have the initiative. All right. This time I don't think this little fucker can get away. 
He's 20 feet above you. Is he? Yeah. That's a cliff. Yeah, I'm just... Are the trees sticking out over the cliff? Yeah. Sorry, it's hard to do perspective in Roll20. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to decide what the best course of action is. Does this look like a cliffside I could climb? Even? I mean, the, the other one's climbing it. They climbed down and up pretty easily. Uh, it looks like something that would be doable. Doable? Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually just need to do this to myself. I'm going to cast that at okay. third level. Okay. Oh, there there is an option to upcast, like in your spell stuff. I don't know how to do it, but I know that Susanna does it sometimes. Yeah, I screwed up and clicked the wrong thing, but oh. that's fine. Okay. So I'll do that. And then. Stupid cliff. Do you need me to, like, have an you'll action have to, to be able to climb? Y y you'll have to make a skill check. Um, a skill athletics. check. Okay. Yeah. I'll go there. And if you succeed, you'll climb at half speed. Right. I'll go to the base here, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I will try. All right. Oh, Lord, will I try. That's enough. You can climb. That was 25, which means half speed. I can't even move, right? Because I can't right. do one full square. Right. Okay. I, th oh. I figured you were dashing. I can't, though, because I cast a spell. Oh, right. That's right. Okay. All right. Egg. Will, you, will you let me roll that oh. forward into my next turn? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Got a guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. Gonna, gonna, gonna bop him. <laughs> um, this time he parries you. I bop him again. Uh, so <laughs> preoccupied with one end of the staff, he forgets that staves are two ended. And so that, that backside comes around and wallops him good. Thankfully, from the guidance of your blessing, uh, the, the attack strikes true. So that's a seven plus a two. So nine. Yes, nine damage. Okay. Um, you feel his ribs just splinter from the weight of the blow, but somehow he still stands. All right, then I will use my bonus attack mm -hmm. and uh, butt end him. Okay. I get to roll the bludgeoning again because that's a two. So that's 10 damage. Okay. Uh, you shatter his kneecap and then shove the end of your staff into his neck, crushing his windpipe. Uh, he collapses on the ground and convulses but will be officially dead in a matter of moments all right uh then i will move uh five ten down here that's the end of my turn. Okay. Pedal in. Hmm. I think probably what we'll do is we'll go second verse, same as the first. And try and chaos bolt Mr. Man on top of the log up there. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> I'll remember one day. Um, okay. So, 
Do you want thunder damage or lightning damage? <laughs> thunder damage, I think. Okay. So that's 19 plus 7. That's 26. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, so that happens. It splits the log, or rather the thunder damage explodes the log, and he's going to fall 20 feet. Um, so 5e falling damage, because they changed it, I think. Nothing under 10 feet. 1d6 per 10 feet after that. So 2d6. Ah. Uh, he, you know, as the, as the log splinters and he, he scrabbles and, and, you know, tries to find his way back, he loses his footing and, you know, isn't able to, to animate his way off the falling debris to, to make <laughs> it back up. Um, and plummets uh, onto his neck, snapping it, unfortunately, meeting his demise on the ground below. Nice. Okay. And then we'll try to hit the one that's in the center in the tree. Is okay. he in the tree or is he below the tree? He's below the tree. He's below the tree. Okay. We'll try to Eldritch Blast him, I think. Okay, so you're going to quicken an Eldritch Blast. Both beams at him? Yep. <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. And oh, what a no, day it will not... be. What changed? It was working I don't earlier. No, it was right here in my attacks a minute ago. Oh, god damn it. Did you accidentally delete it? Why? Why you do this to me? You're not even in your attacks. You're in your spells right now. Well, that's because I had to get in there because it's displaying mm. as a spell card instead of an attack, isn't it? Mm. I just put it into my attacks whenever I did spell casting stuff like that. Well, lucky you. It's not lucky, it's smart. <laughs> well, I did. It was there a minute ago. Okay. Just roll it. I am rolling it. Um, 14 misses, but 18 hits. Uh, five, or five Eldritch energy punches into the, into the dog man. Finish? Yes. All right, so I have three alive. Uh, let's see. This one's going to move. Or no, this one's going to shoot at Madame Beldum. Uh, are you still gravity weld, or have you moved? No, because my turn is immediately after. Oh. Ah, oh yeah, you're right. Okay. So, one hit and one crit. I will luck point the crit. Okay. Just waiting for roll twenty to tell me. <laughs> oh, I thought you just re-roll it. Oh, re okay. I can I can do that too. All right, did it. All right, it's still a hit, but it's not a crit. So ten damage. Six from one, four from another, and then he's gonna ah uh, that one's dead. This one's going to shoot. At Udinar, who is very close. Is that a torch? Why is there a torch moving around? I don't know. Okay. Well, torch two arrows. Jin got all screwed up, and I wanted to see if that would fix it, but it did not. Oh, now I can't see the torch, so I can't delete it. Wait, it's what? like I'm... The map, there's like this big rectangle... Oh, zo zo zoom out and zoom back in. Okay. Did that it fix did. it? Nope. No. Try refreshing. Refreshing is what caused it, and I've already refreshed again. Oh, and so what do you have? I can see my token, but then there's like this gray, not the entire map, this gray part of the map where it's like, I don't have vision of it. Weird. Where it's like over here, I have vision. Uh -huh. but to the left of it it's just the map details and i can't see any of the other tokens huh it's super yeah. weird 
<laughs> all right. Well, thanks for all 20. All right, we'll deal with it for now. We're all, we're almost done with this, I think. Yeah, I'll just um, let you know why there's a torch there. I tried. Okay. <laughs> that would fix it. Did not. Can't see the torch. So right. You can delete one, that token two. if you could see it. I did. He's up. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. He's not even going to bother shooting. And then this one, both of his arrows missed Udenar. One, two. Okay. Madam Beldum. Uh, I don't think you can see them anymore. No, there's a giant cliff. Yeah. I can finally see them again. <laughs> <laughs> Take a screenshot of that. I'd like to see it. Yeah. It's going to be funny if the screenshot shows everything. Yeah. Homer just has a bunch of gunk on his monitor. Yeah. I'll go ahead and pass my turn because I can't do anything. All right. Udenar? Yeah, I'm going to climb this bitch. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, 10. 20. <laughs> Done. Mm-hmm. Um, well, now I'll go here for 30, and as my, I guess the only thing I'm going to do currently is this, cast that on myself to give myself more shield. Okay. And... I guess as a main action, I'll just dash. Can, okay. Where can I reach, though? I can go there. Probably best if I go down this way. I could reach this guy, but then I can't do anything. Yeah, I'll just outrun him and see if I can get him next turn, if that's even a thing. Go there. That's you don't want to get next to him, so you could at least attack of opportunity. That's a good idea. Let's do it on this guy, though. Okay. I mean, shit with that guy. I think uh, could have done that. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it would have been. You were here. Yeah. Okay. Egg. Uh, okay. So it's just those three are left? Or is yes. there another one? Okay. No, just those three. Okay, so. I'll run up to this wall first. Oh, God. And then I will attempt to climb it. Okay, athletics check. Uh, all right, I have to pop this back open. That screenshot is weird. Wow. Uh-huh. It is really strange. Uh, Athletics. What if I do this? Can you see now? Now it made a no. block for me. I have that issue now. Huh. Did that fix it? Yes. That did. Paul? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't ask, because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, you can climb. It's okay. half speed. So. You'll make it up and have five feet left. All right. So I'll go there. Okay. It's my turn. Uh, I mean, you still have a, an action, don't you? Which you could dash with? Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought it was half from my dash. Never mind. No, 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 because you were you were five feet from the wall and then 20 yeah. feet to get up it. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, well, hold on, hold on. 20 feet to get up it. Paul, I think you did that, that math funny. Well, it's double, right? It's rough terrain or whatever? Yeah, so it's, it's a 20-foot climb. That means it takes you 40 feet of movement to get up. Right, I was just going based on the squares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you you would have to dash to get up. 
Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Okay. And then it would be the same with egg. So that Except should put it here. Yeah. Well, no, because you it takes you so it takes you forty feet to get up twenty, and so yeah, you would have twenty feet left or fifteen feet left because you you already moved five. Hmm. Okay. So that would be if I turn, you'd be one back. You'd be right there. Oh. Okay. Um. So. Since you dashed afterward as well, you could move 20, so you would have been right here. Sure. Because it takes you 40 feet of movement to get up 20 feet, and then you have 20 feet left. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's right. I'm doing the math right. Okay. So there's egg, there's noodles. Pedal in, you're up. Egg and noodles have scaled the cliff. <laughs> well, I guess we'll move next to the cliff because there isn't anything we can do from back here. There we go. That's my turn. Okay. Good job. You did it. Uh, I did it. I right. ran forward. <laughs> uh And the ambush is sprung. I was kind of wondering if that would happen. That's why I cast another shield on me. (laughs) And four. And that's it. Okay. Uh, That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, one, two, three. Those will all be an egg. And then the other four will all be at noodles. So. First two at egg, miss and miss. Next two at egg, uh, those are going to be D4'd. And your AC is, yeah. Wow, just a miss, thanks to the thanks to the Bane. And another miss. And then last, but certainly not least, a miss and a hit. So one out of six arrows deals seven damage to you. Uh, nice. And then All right. Udinar has how much H or how much AC now? Twenty. Twenty. So that's a miss and a miss. A miss and a miss. A miss and a miss. And a miss and a miss. <laughs> Dope. So eight arrows uh all just pound into that shimmering field surrounding you. Uh, Madam Beldum, you hear the hoops and shouts of several of the dog-like creatures. Uh, way more than just three. <laughs> mm. Can I tell how many there are? Uh, at least five. Not feeling confident in her climbing abilities, honestly. Okay, well, it is 30 to the wall. Even with a a dash, I couldn't make it up. That's true. You can make it partway up. I suppose so. Let's try this negative athletics. Mm. Yep. Yep. All right. So you're halfway okay. up the wall. Well, you're 15 feet up the wall, so you got five feet left. Noodles. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're surrounded. What do you do? <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can push through. So I'll go here. And. Uh, let's see if this will work. I'm gonna grab the little fucker. Don't forget, you have advantage from foresight. Oh right, that was so long ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did. We should have added some foresight. Let's see. Um, like it's about to go away, but 
Uh, what's a good one? Here we go. This this can be foresight. Oh wait, no. This is even better. There. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna roll that again, and we'll take the first number. So that'll be a okay. seventeen. Okay. Seventeen does hit. Okay. And. 11. All right. So you heal for five. Oh my God. I'm so used to hurting myself that I put minus <laughs> five or I put my health down to five. So that'll be this. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it for my turn. Okay. Uh, egg, you have the initiative. All right, I'm going to attack this sad boy right here. All right. <laughs> That's a hit. We roll the thunder damage. Still a one, so that's 11 yeah. damage. All right. Uh, you crack him in the kneecaps, and he drops to a knee. Still alive? Yep. All right. Then again. <laughs> oh. I don't nice. think he's going to be alive much longer. <laughs> um, oh. No, he's he's dead. I'm not even going to do the math. I can see it. <laughs> it's 24. It's a, a sideways hit, and it just yeah. goes right mm -hmm. through him. Like, so you, you kneecapped him and brought him down, and then you just swung the staff baseball style into his jaw and just hear the, the spine crack as his head turns around backwards. Yep. Whoa. Ew. Yeah. Fatality. <laughs> so then I'm going to move through him to mm -hmm. his buddy back here. Okay. And uh, since I procced uh this i get to just regular attack as a bonus action okay jesus <laughs> uh re-roll the thunder damage but still 10 damage yeah and i will add a menacing attack i'll attempt to scare him okay uh yeah no he's he's terrified um it takes one extra damage. Oh. There. Okay. You have terrified the poor dog man. Ah! He whimpers like a dog. Ran through his friend, basically, yeah. and then... Yeah. He, he watched you. Like, the last thing he saw was his friend's head turn all the way around to look at him. <laughs> with terror in its eyes. Uh, that's Pet my turn. Pedal in. All righty, let's get some good climbing. Athletics, here we go. Spit on both my hands. <laughs> Rub them together. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't seem to get a <laughs> get a handhold. <laughs> I just slip back down and land on my butt. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, you've still got 25 feet of movement. Okay, I guess I could try again. Um, no, no, you can't try climbing again. <laughs> uh, well, actually, you know what? Yeah, use your dash action, and then you can try again. Okay. Here we go. Do this. That's enough. You get halfway. <laughs> you get halfway up. Yeah. God, that's All so right. good. Yeah. All right. Um, let's do this from right to left. So that's going to be two shots uh, at the terrifying egg slayer of dogmen. Uh, both are hits. Eight damage, four from each. All right. Uh, that one's dead. This one is frightened of you. 
Uh, so he's going to attack at disadvantage, uh, so, you know, dropping his bow and swinging his short sword wildly as he draws it. Uh, he misses. All right, I will repost him. All right, so you just bat the clumsy swing away. Jesus. Uh, and, and do lay into him. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage. Uh, yes. You tell him no, bad dog. <laughs> And he yelps as you as you crack your staff across his wrists. The heavy thwack. Uh, and then moving left, uh, Udinar, he's going to drop his bow and swing at you. He's not terrified. Uh, and then swing it a second time, both missing uh, as it clangs against your shield of faith. Uh, and the one still with his bow, going to shoot at Noodles. Uh, one hit, one miss. Five damage. Okay. And then my two in the trees are both going to shoot at Udinar. Miss, miss. Miss, miss. They uh, are watching these arrows deflect off of this translucent barrier uh, and will hopefully wisen up. Madam Beldum, would you like to finish climbing? Yep. Is that another athletics? Uh, no. No. You're up, so. Okay. You're up with five feet to spare. Oh, boy. Who's in my range? Um, Actually, you have ten feet to spare. You know what? I'm actually going to move forward once just so I don't get somehow knocked back off the cliff. And let's try a new spell on the one that Udinar is attacking. That is a hit. Holy fuck. Uh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Flex tape. <laughs> Is that even right? Holy shit. Pop yeah, your spell text up for me. I'm, I'm sure it is, but... I just want to read 3D8, it. 3d8, isn't it? Yeah. 3d8 plus 4. 3d8 plus damage. Uh, I, I thought the plus 4 is only on the echo. It is. Is it only on the echo? Yeah. yeah. So that'd be 16. I will modify that, though. Okay. All right. Uh, so 16 damage. Still a lot. So, being the first time that this spell has been cast, why don't you describe what happened? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> this is what I had trouble coming up with. Um. It, okay, so this sure. this one is it, it's yeah. all it's all like spacey magic, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I will pull out a card. And as it floats, I will crumple my fist, and the card will also crumple, turning into a tiny little black hole mm. that I will shoot forward. Sure. Because yeah, the, the, the Echoing Blast is, like, literally p ripping energy out of, the, like, the fabric of the universe and throwing it at something. It's like a and tiny atom bomb. <laughs> hover around to smack him again later. Hover around, hover around. We're at the Grand Canyon. Please tell me somebody else remembers those ads. Oh, I remember. <laughs> All right. So Echoing Blast goes out. Uh, it just punches into him. Uh, deal 16 damage. Are you finished? That'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, you didn't want to do the Echo? 
As a bonus action at each of your turns, you maintain concentration on the spell and make a second attack. Oh, I didn't know I could double dip on the same turn. Yeah. I mean, you're concentrating this turn, aren't you? I mean, I suppose so. I don't got anything else yeah. going on. Yep. <laughs> so now you do 1d8 plus casting mod. Uh, Why did it roll it like that? I don't know. So it should be mm. 1 plus 4. I don't know how you set it up, but uh, so that'll be five more damage. Uh, if I uncheck proficient, does it do it right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's um, oh no, it's counting it as an attack, not an actual, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. So that was that was 11 to hit, or rather, a natural one to hit. So is okay. it another? Attack roll? Yeah. Uh, okay. As a bonus action, you maintain, make a second attack against the previous target. Oh, okay. Well, now my shit's all fucked up. All right. Well, I'm just, you can figure that out while we get around to you. Uh, Noodles, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to continue draining life force out of the mark I made on him the first time. Yeah, that's a hit. Give me your fucking life. Um, so yeah, he's dead. Uh, you you turn him uh, to just like withered bone. I feel great about it. Yeah, like you just pull all the remaining life energy out of him and just like his face sinks in, his eyes rot out of his skull and uh, the flesh decays before your eyes and then he just like collapses into a, into a decayed mess. And then I'll menacingly just like slowly turn around to face his friend mm. and run at him. Okay. Um. That'll be it. I don't want to get rid of my armor. So yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Uh, egg. All right. Gonna bash on this scared boy. <laughs> That's a hit. All right. Man, Bless is doing work. Bless is doing <laughs> yes. no doubt. Uh, so that's 10 damage. Yeah, you... He he goes to panic shout, and you just shove the staff into his <laughs> open mouth yeah. and, and rip his jaw off from the bottom. Just done with these creatures. The, the, the viciousness is... All right. Through. Uh, how hard is it to cross this river? You can jump it. Okay. So, because uh, you have you have enough you have enough of a running start that you can actually jump it. Because you can jump uh, long jump is the your strength score, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it so looks like gets right here. Yeah. Um. So you were here, right? Yeah. So that'd be. Yeah. And then you can jump. How? What's your strength score? Uh, my strength score is sixteen. Or the yeah, three. So you, you can literally jump to here from here. Oh, okay. You can leap across and land in front of him. That sounds fun. Yeah. He just wet his pants. <laughs> um. So can I still use my extra attack I have? No, it's because it's no no no, it's no longer the same attack action. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think so. But because I killed someone, I can use my regular attack as a bonus action. Correct. Which I will do. That's a hit. Uh, what is, what is the, the wording damage. on extra attack? 5e extra. Uh, I can pop it. Twice whenever you take the attack. Mm. 
Oh, no, 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 hold on. Uh, for example, a fighter can make two attacks with the extra attack feature and has a speed of 25 feet, can move 10 feet, make an attack, move 15 feet, and then attack again. So you still have your okay. extra attack. So good okay. to know that. Okay, so that's eight damage, and yeah. then I get to attack again. Just smack him around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another hit. And we roll or the another... thunder damage. So that's another 12. Oh, uh, the thunder damage shouldn't have been rerolled. You only reroll ones on that, don't you? No, reroll ones or twos. Oh, okay. So minus twelve then. Okay. Uh, you lay the smack down into this one, cracking a few ribs, probably dislocating a shoulder. Uh, he's hurt and badly. Yeah. Finished. Yep. Let's pedal in. All right. Panting and sweating. I think I make it. No. Up over the cliff. With 10 feet to spare. Woo! All right. I'll move 10 feet so I can see around this tree. And then we will send an Eldritch Blast on the farthest boy over there. Okay. Didn't want to try and get down one of the ones that's already hurt. Well, Egg's going to take care of that one over there real easy, I imagine. Okay. Uh, but if Udinar can move, he can reach that one sooner. So, yeah. All right. We'll try to hit the one that Udinar's by. Okay. And you're no longer foresight. I can get rid of your eyeball. Uh, those are both hits for 13 damage. And that'll end my turn. Okay. And it's their turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump. <laughs> Take some damage. And he's out. Uh, and I don't think this one's going to make it. Three, seven, eight. No, one, two, three, four. Jump. Nope. Right there. Uh, this one is going to take the attack of opportunity, so go ahead and make it. From noodles. Uh, it's a hit. Six. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, he'll just do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Three, four, five, six. Okay. And then this one. Gonna try and get the buck away. Uh, uh, opportunity attack. Yes. Uh, that's a miss. I will use a precision attack. Okay. So I right, roll the thunder damage. Still one. Eight. But also. When I hit him, his speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Oof. All right. Well, then he's done moving. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a... Sit, boy. Poor so, guy. in that case, he's going to swing his short sword. <laughs> uh huh. Both miss. You can tell they're just the swings <laughs> of a desperate and <laughs> doom seeing creature. <laughs> Uh, Madam Beldum. Uh, I suppose just to add insult to injury. I'm gonna firebolt 
the one over here. Okay. Well, actually, no. I'm going to move a little bit closer and put him within 60. I hit him with an echoing blast. All right, you're going to cast echoing blast again. That hits, deals 12. He's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> echo, echo, echo. <laughs> Just just so you know, uh, that spell works best against uh, thicker targets. Yeah, I know. Right. It replaced my chromatic orb as my general oh. slinging spell. I see. Uh, anything else? No, that'll end my turn. I'm satisfied. Okay. All right. Noodles? Um... How far this guy is away from me. I don't think I can reach him. I can throw a spell at him. Let's throw a spell at him for the hell of it. Okay. Uh, I never use this, so let's do this. Sacred Flame! Uh, on which target? The one that Egg is fighting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, dexterity save. I failed. So, four take, damage. Take four damage, bitch. Yeah. And he only just dies. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The kill steal. <laughs> yeah. a, a holy column of flame smites the dog creature before your eyes, Egg, and, and before you lie smote in smoldering ruin his body. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, Egg, you have the initiative. Uh, <laughs> these dog boys are pretty far away. Yep, that they are. Well, let's run after them, I guess. I don't know the best way to go about this, though. Um, five, ten. So I'll climb, climb back down. Should I do uh, another? Yes. Athletics. going to be half speed. Yeah. So. Five, ten. How is what your arrow pink Swan now? Dive? I don't know. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. So remember, the cliff is, is 20 feet tall, so it takes 40 feet of movement to get down. Yes. All right, so I'll go to there. Got it. Not one more. Oops. Is that right? So you were here, so that's 5, 10, 15 to get to the edge, and then 40 to go down. Oh, 40 to go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you'd be right there. You'd be... yeah. yeah, yeah keep screwing that up in my head sorry right. it's it's confusing yeah that's my turn okay pedal in okay we'll move over hey that one's Is dead it? wolf what one's dead uh, wait oh i didn't add skull to him Oh, yeah, I can hit him. Just scream out, you better run, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you better run. Those are both hits. Pew, pew! Or... <laughs> <laughs> You've had real bad luck with your damage rolls on that. I have. You can do a potential 20, and I don't think I've seen you roll over oh, 10. Oh, wow, yeah. All right, are you finished? Yep, that'll do All me. Right. All right, and he's going to escape. Okay, thus ends combat. Cool. I think we'll spend the time looting, probably. Okay. 
Probably sometime. Three, four, five, six, seven. So three escaped. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, three escaped. All right. So uh, seven short bows, uh, 70 arrows, seven short swords, uh, a single chain shirt. And between them, uh, some rations, maybe three or four days worth. Uh, it looks like they were they were splitting rations, so it looks like they were out here hunting for food. Uh, interestingly enough, none of them blighted. Huh. I want to. Uh, and then, oh, and then sorry. In inside the pack of the one with the chain shirt is a small figurine of a tiger. Hello. Good. Nice. It is carved, or rather cast, probably, of gold. Do I know what these are? Knolls. Wow. Yeah, okay. If anybody else wants to know if you fought them before, it's just an int check of 10 or a compelling backstory reason that you would have encountered them. Uh, Petalin, you would know they're gnolls. Oh, yeah. No idea. Egg's never seen a knoll before. They tend not to go on sea if they can help it. Yeah, they don't. Nobody likes the smell of wet dog. Yeah. Probably not even them, frankly. Mm -hmm. uh, about how large is this tiger figure? Mmm... Approximately large enough to fit on the pedestal. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a little gold figurine that sits on top of a little rectangular slab, like a like a stand. Well, should we try it in the pedestal? We should. We should take a look at this pedestal, since we didn't before. Oh, no, we did. I did. You didn't tell yeah, us anything shoot. about it. Oh, yeah, so I'll... She got spotted I'll on the way I back. I saw about the, <laughs> the pedestal with the cat facing northeast and all that. Hmm. Are we going to say we just gather around the pedestal? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Gather around, brothers and sisters. So Thank facing goodness, the I don't northeast. have to climb again. The other one was facing east. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're facing the same, like, intersecting point? I do. I think Does the that... indent on this one look less worn than the other one? Yes. I mean, do we want to just try placing the <laughs> figurine we just found? I mean, why not? Yep. Do it. I don't know who has it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't either. It, so who, who, whoever has it, it, it goes on there. Okay. Um, so it, it gets placed on the pedestal, and is, uh, if you were expecting any sort of pomp and circumstance, none seems to happen. Yeah. I have a feeling we need to find at least one other figurine for the other pedestal, for maybe anything. If not more pedestals and more figurines, maybe, maybe infinite number. Of pedestals oh, and figurines. So you guys stand around talking about this Pretty for a much. couple minutes? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, after a few minutes, the green blighted uh, pool behind you, the, the water from above falls and is blue and clear. Uh, <gasps> and the green within the pool itself begins to recede slightly. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I smell a scavenger hunt coming on. Cool. Let's see if I can make it. Pretty close. And. Egg. Just, 
Just because I'm going to attempt it, I'm going to dunk my arm where the bite was in the water. Uh, it is cool and refreshing. No change to my skin or anything? Correct. Okay. Egg, how does the bonsai look? How does it look? It looks a bit better. Okay. I mean, I show you my backpack. It's tied onto there. I think we gotta find more figurines. I think we should follow the uh, river upstream and see where it leads. I wonder. Should we see if removing the figure? Yeah. Does this? Yeah. So you remove the figure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm. after a couple minutes, it begins to. Okay. So the real question is, do we leave the figure here, or do we take it with us to try and find, like, the correct pedestal or whatever? We absolutely do not leave it here. Do we want to head back to the previous pedestal and see what happens there? Uh, I kind of want to follow this river and see where it leads to or from. I think we ought to go northeast to the central point where all the cat pedestals are facing. Like go to the point where they're all facing towards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz that one's yeah. the first okay. one was facing east. This one faces northeast. So So there's probably one north of here that's facing southeast presumably. Yeah. If there's three, there might only be two. Who knows? Who um, knows? I am definitely down for seeing what is in that direction first before making any decisions. There might honestly be like eight pedestals and eight like statues, though. There actually might be like 20. Cardinals. For all we know. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd probably assume it was the cardinal directions, too. Mm hmm. But if it's the cardinal directions and they're all facing kind of towards a central point, then we should find out what's at the central point. I agree. Mm -hmm. So northeast cool. is what I'm hearing? Yes. Okay. From here, yes. Yeah. From here. So the, so the group travels northeast from the, from the most recent pedestal that they found, uh, keeping the small statuette with them. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you travel onward, you make it back um, like towards the small trail that you had previously been following, uh, more of a game trail than anything. And in doing so, you once again stumble across the large cat prints. I would like to follow these. Um, Are they heading east? Or they're, are they heading? They're, like, they're like east, northeast at this point. Okay, so they're still going along the same path that, we're, that we are. So the question is, will you follow the... Do you want to follow the direction, or do you want to follow the, the cat footprints? Well, I think we ought to follow the direction still. I want to okay. follow the footprints. Well, I It seems two... weird that they oh. were intentional. Be like, almost easy to follow. I think it's an omen. Because prior to today, we haven't seen any tracks left by this animal, although we know it has been following us. That's what I mean, and they were easy to follow. I think it's leading us somewhere. Now, the flip side of that is it might be leading us to our death, <laughs> which is a problem. Well... Mm. I was hoping I'm just these wondering two what there is to gain the by following the cat. Like, you think this cat is a druid or a deity, or what? What are you thinking? It's I mean, the cat's on, it's on the pedestals, right? Right. Well, no deity I would know of is a cat. He's a tiger. I mean, not that I know of, anyway. Maybe. I suppose anything's possible. 
Everybody and when wants you to and when you saw the cat when you saw the cat last night, it was was it blighted or was it healthy? It was not what I would describe as healthy looking. So it's affected by this blight too. If so, I were to make an assumption, I feel like it wants this blight gone as well as much as we do. And it might right. be thinking we can help it, so it is leading us. But I this is all based on <laughs> like faith of it, basically. I want to believe you that it's leading us somewhere, but our best bet of finding something is going northeast towards this central point. I'm kind of with Pedalin, just because the biggest clue we actually have to carrying the blight is the statuette, and we got it by not completely following the tiger's tracks. Northeast will always be northeast. These tracks will be gone when rain or anything hits. Well, right, the but tiger, the tiger wants us to follow column, it. Column, not from just anywhere. Yeah. All right, we travel northeast then. Does Madam Belden want to weigh in? I'm kind of with Udenor on this one. Okay, so the so rather than just folding, there's an actual split here. Mm-hmm. What is the? I feel like there's something going on with that cat more than we currently understand. It might not necessarily be a good region. thing, though, and I do recognize that. <laughs> right, there there is the gamble there, and we honestly wouldn't have even found this statue had we not walked into their ambush. But we also didn't follow the cat trail here, to be fair, either. We diverted from it. Yeah, we only headed here because you saw it from the sky and got shot at. <laughs> it's true. So, following danger is our best bet, so let's follow the cat trail. <laughs> Changing my best. That's a... <laughs> That's three votes to cat tracks, then. <laughs> well, it seems I'm overruled. <laughs> okay. My my so, main reasoning, just like to be clear, is that we could lose the trail and we'll never lose. Well, in theory, we won't lose the direction of whatever is in the middle. Well, in theory. It's only the direction of what's in the middle is only northeast from where we were at that pedestal. If we divert now and go northeast later we're going to be in a completely different spot and we could miss it but if there are other pedestals there is the chance that we could run into one and get reoriented so and don't we have that north coin or whatever no we don't oh that's gone right yeah because she because the the ring no longer points north that's right unfortunately yeah i forgot about that <laughs> My biggest regret. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it Everyone sounds like we're following cat tracks. following the cat trail, so we'll follow the cat trail. Okay, uh, so you spend a couple of hours following these like incredibly obvious cat tracks, uh, and eventually you, you head deeper and deeper into these woods uh, until eventually, off in the distance... Uh, you spot what appears to be uh, a large stone structure. Maybe a sort of shrine or temple having been erected in the woods. Intact? I think we should go there. It is, uh, it is a bit north of you. Okay. All right, so... Is it like ruins or is it intact? Give me a moment. Okay. It looks from your distance to be largely intact. Uh, move everybody over. Make sure that the lights are on. And there you go. As you step closer, you see the entrance 
uh, is a step while leading upward to a large statue. Are we supposed to be able to see something? I Can have darkness. Mind? No. Yep. All dark. Uh, oh, I know why. Hold on. Is that better? No. no. Huh. Vance has sight. Interesting. Turn that off. How about now? Yes. Ah. Okay. I just turned off all the dynamic lighting crap since it's daytime. You don't need it. Yeah, fair. And maybe Roll20 won't chug as hard. Well, I think we may have found what you, were, what you were looking for, Betelin. <laughs> <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot. This is impressive. Uh, is anybody proficient in survival? I, I am. Uh, go ahead and make a survival check. Anybody who's proficient. Um, okay, Egg, having... Having been in the camp of go northeast and then traveling the footprints, you you were kind of keeping an eye on where you were headed along the way in pathfinding. And what you notice is that the tiger tracks led you directly here, whereas you you have the inclination that if you had gone straight northeast, you would have ended up here, but it wouldn't have been uh, as easy a path. Hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, I relay this to the, the group. Well, glad you spoke up when we needed you, Egg. Before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to roll this just to see if I know anything about the, like, I don't know, stonework or anything that might lead me to where, who would have built this? It looks very recent. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Hmm. Are you proficient in anything that would give you stonework? Or, like, do you have any history with stonework? I do not. No. Okay. Uh, I will slowly approach it, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I had my ruler out. I do that all the time. Oh, I think we're on a different layer. I can't choose my guy. Oh, is, that Same. might be why you guys... Oh, that's why you guys couldn't see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I, I had you on the map layer. So. Boop. That makes sense. That's why you couldn't see, even though everything was there. Cool. Okay, so you approach this grand uh, shrine, is what I think it should be called. Yeah. Um, and can see a great onyx uh, statue of a tiger carved on a large like sarcophagus pedestal thing uh, slab in the center. Um, it's like copper and, and brass uh, inlaid work. And then this, uh, the, the shrine itself is, is just smooth carved stone. Well, I am that, happy to admit a, I was wrong about the tracks. You can see a footpath has been walked around it. Um, some are, uh, they look like boot prints and others look like paw, uh, the, the tiger's paws. Mm. I'm going to step forward. Just, I'm making sure nothing happened to me or something when I do sure. so. Sure. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm gonna slowly climb the stairs and take a look at the like the shrine sure. closely. Mm hmm. Yep. I will follow. Uh, okay. The first thing I want to do is go to one of these like pillar areas and just look at it and see if there's any markings or anything. So as you climb the steps uh, and take a look at, I could just kind of take a general look. There's a plaque. 
uh, embedded in the slab that the tiger is on, but that the pillars themselves are just, uh, they're very similar to the uh, the columns that you saw in the woods, uh, the pedestals. They have that, that same, like, food chain going all the way around them. Right, okay. At, at each level. Uh, Madam Beldum, you rolled for what? Just looking I'm around? looking out for the tiger. Okay. So the plaque is embedded beneath the tiger statue? Uh-huh. Is anybody going to try and read it? Oh, sure. I, I, guess, I suppose I'll do that. <laughs> you do not recognize the lettering or the characters. Oh. Do we still have the helm of Comprehend Languages? Do you? I Somewhere just don't know where pit. it is. Oh, is it in the pit? Okay. I was probably the only one to get a really good glimpse of the tiger, right? When it came up to the hut. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This statue, does it look familiar? Like, is that... Uh, it's, I mean, it, no, it's an onyx, like, figure, that, uh -huh. or rather an onyx, an onyx statue. So, like, somehow they've worked, like, orange flecks into the black stone, but um, it just looks like a big tiger. Okay. Uh, are all these columns, do they look the same? Yes. Or do they have, okay. And there's, is there any other writing besides that one plaque? Uh, no. Okay, well, we should fish out that helm. Yep, agreed. All right, so you guys retrieve the helm of Comprehend Languages. Somebody puts it on and casts it and tell me who. Well, I'll stay down here and keep an eye out with the madam. So one of you boys can put it on. Okay, I suppose I will. I'll do it. All right, so, so it says, literally, Lord and Protector of these woods, Eldrick. Huh. So I guess he is Eldrick. Well, these are his woods. I guess that mean makes sense now. But there doesn't mm -hmm. appear to be anywhere anywhere here to put this the statue at, right? No. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. Pedal in. Make a perception check. And tell me what you get, because I'm not on the uh, on the right window. Twenty-two. Okay, you get to notice. Manabeldum is too preoccupied with butterflies or some such. <laughs> As she is. Uh, there. Okay. So, uh, approaching from the south. It's, uh, Big, familiar-looking cat. I swat an arm over at the madam, and grab her so, sleeve, and point. So, suddenly realizes that there's a cat uh, now sitting on the path, just looking at you. Udinar, did you share the out, out of character? Did you share the writing on the plaque with us? Uh, yeah, I would have. I would have read it out loud. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so I'll uh, I'll give a slight bow to the tiger and say, Lord Eldrick. Uh, the cat inclines its head in your general direction and flicks its tail. That's... Yeah, so it inclines its head and flicks its tail.
At this point, I would probably walk down the stairs. At what point okay. do I see this thing? <laughs> Um, probably, let's say now, after you have after you and Egg have both taken a look at all the columns and made sure that there's nowhere to put the little statuette and, uh, you know, checked out the, the slab of, of bronze and brass that it's the statue's on. Then you turn around and uh, as Petalin completes her bow, uh, you see there's a big fat tiger. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll uh, nudge Egg and just be like, you might have trouble. Get ready. Can you comprehend Tiger? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I'll walk to the bottom of the steps. <clears throat> okay. The tiger just watches. Uh, in that case, I'll walk another step forward and just keep my eyes locked with it. Okay. It doesn't do anything? Nope, it's watching. Can I push through them and just like walk in yep. front? Yeah. One step? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just Seeing turn. this, I get a little nervous, and I'm like, uh, "Lord Eldrick, we we want to know how we can help lift the plague on the woods." The cat cocks its head to the side. Somebody, somebody, show him that we have the uh, the figurine. So, I'm going to say to it, "You understand us, yes." It nods. You are seeking our help. In as much as the cat can, it shrugs and then nods. Well, can... we we look to help you because we need your help. Grill sent us to find you. When you he say grill, plan... when you say grill, his ears perk up. He has a plan to bring back Spira. The tiger's eyes go wide, uh, almost with disbelief. Are you able Are you... to speak? Sorry, what was that? Oh, I cut uh, Rumble off, I think, but I said, "Are you able to speak?" He uh, he roars. Well, I guess that's, that counts. So, <laughs> Are you stuck in this transformation of a tiger? Uh, insert the Larry David gif. <laughs> <laughs> it, so, yes, but also no. Is, is, so you get a, a nod yes, but also no. I think he just is a tiger. There are more figurines and pedestals for us to find, yes? He nods. You will help us find them? He shakes his head. <laughs> Do we have to put a figurine into each pedestal? He shakes his head. Is there just one pedestal that's the right one to put the figurine into? He shakes his head. Uh, he moves over to one of the trees near you and uh, stretches out on it and rakes his claws against a, a, a rent, like another, another rut in the tree, like the others you'd been seeing. I'm going to show him my wound and say, do you know how this can be cured? He shakes his head. But then he also nods. He goes to another tree and stretches out on it, and there's another route uh, in it. Just another rut. Hmm. Have you marked the trees around which pedestals are the right ones? He shakes his head. Uh, 
May I approach you? He nods. I do so. Okay. I'll, I'll go right beside him. Sure. And I just want to look at, like, his scars and stuff and see how blighted he is, basically, if he is. Fairly. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that either he's been gravely wounded or he's been bearing the the plague for a long time or maybe both. You know how to cure this, but you need our help to do it. Is that correct? He shakes his head. Hmm. Or no, 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 sorry. He nods. He nods. I shook my head yes and did not. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The problems of not being at an actual table. Yeah, yeah. Is are the figurines and pedestals the key to clearing this blight? Shakes his head no. Is killing the white horse the key to killing the blight? He vigorously shakes his head yes. That is of the utmost importance then. Can you lead us to the white horse? He shakes his head no. Well, crap, how do we find it? Do you say that out loud? Well, yeah, but kind of to the group and not he, so much to let, the tiger. It lets out like a growl. Is the white horse hunting you? He nods. Is the white horse on its way here? Shakes his head no. Okay. He also nods. He then shrugs. (laughs) (laughs) Me too, man. Me too. (laughs) Um... He sighs, as only a big cat can, goes <laughs> back to that first tree and stretches up against it and pulls his paws down across the rut. I mean, I'm going to go over to that tree and take a look at what mm-hmm. he's done and see if there's anything like special about it or if they're All just right. claw marks I, in a tree. I, I, as you're looking at the rut, uh, make, a, make an investigation check. Uh, it is very clearly not clawed. Are you're not really here, are you? Cox is heavy, you and isn't sure how to answer. I think. Yeah, that's probably fair. Um. what the fuck am I even trying to ask? Like, are you on the same plane as us? He nods. Why would there be no marks? It's just, there aren't, they aren't claw marks. There's clearly a rut oh. in the tree. Oh, okay. But it's it not made by claws. I'll run my finger along the rut. Just, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's just been hacked special. out by something. Mm-hmm. Um, give me a nature check. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what it is. Uh, maybe a horn. A horn. This. Okay. I'll uh, point it out to the group and ask if any of them know what might have caused something like this. You say it looks like a horn mark? No, I didn't say yeah. that yet. I'm asking you guys to take a look and see if maybe we All right, I'll come I'll come over and look. Like are you asking them if they know what could cause that or if they can identify it? Like are you asking them to make nature checks or intelligence checks? Nature. Okay. I'm gonna give myself a guidance boop. Unless is is anybody else proficient in nature? While the group gathers around the tree, the tiger lays down and swishes its tail back and forth. Cute. Um, 
Madam Beldum, you are quite certain that a creature with a horn of some sort has done this, okay. and that you recall having read once upon a time that there were um, great, um, like like rhinoceri that would do something similar or, or things like that. Certain elephants, even with their tusks. Okay. And de- uh, like deer, they'll do it too to get the velvet off their horns or their antlers. Hmm. And that's interesting considering we're going after a horse. Mm hmm. Is the white horse a horse, though? Since when do horses have horns? Well, I'm just saying, like, when we, when Egg saw it, he didn't really see it. He just saw a blur. So if it was mm-hmm. equine-ish, it could have been a deer just moving really fast. I don't think deer are equine. They're not, but <laughs> They're not. moving really fast, they still, I mean, it could have been mistaken for a horse i'll look back at the tiger and just plainly ask like did a horse somehow create these marks he nods yes did the horse have a horn he nods yes (gasps) it's a unicorn all right you know what's coming that you know what that rule is for (laughs) wolf (laughs) if i know what, um or have an idea. I don't think I I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay. I've never heard of a horse with a horn. Everybody else can try too. But I'm just... going based off my other intellect roll. Oh, okay. Roll intelligence? Ah. Uh, yes. No, nobody nobody when we're done, I would like to know what the rating would be. I'm just curious for my own sake. Oh, like what you would need to roll? Yeah. Uh, 22 or a natural. Oh, okay. So it's it was doable. Well, not for me, but... Hmm. Well, I'm inclined <laughs> to believe a god tiger of some sort more than my he shakes his head no <laughs> more than my shaky memory of horses I suppose <laughs> but I'm pretty sure horses do not have horns well I guess this horse has a horn I suppose so some demon creature a follower pops up and the tiger starts leaping into the air about 10-12 feet and uh, cowering behind a tree for just a moment before <laughs> coming out and pretending like it totally meant to do that. <laughs> it's like giving itself a bath. <laughs> I mean, it is still a cat at the end of the day. <laughs> Good boy, follower. <laughs> the tiger looks quizzically at you as you pet <laughs> the small thing. <laughs> okay. Um, do you know which direction we could start our search for the horse? He nods yes. I, I su- I'll, like, converse with the group. I suppose we'll do that then? <laughs> we'll go that seems, start? That seems to be the thing to do. Kill the horse, kill the plague. I feel like we should probably first make preparations to... Mm-hmm. Fighting a horse? Like what? We need a lasso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I read about it in a book. Oh, okay. It's like a noose, you see. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you throw it. Uh huh. 
I mean, oh, being a sailing man, you would have yeah. a passing knowledge of knots. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I'll just tell the tiger, then we will make our preparations and head out. So, uh, what did you have in mind for, like, some prep stuff? Because I'm guessing you meant a short rest to get some stuff done. Well, I don't even know about short rest. We want to make sure we're taking in the right spells to fight a horse. Yeah, I mean, I need a short rest to be able to, like, change prepared spells and stuff, so. Must be nice. It's, uh, I would <laughs> I would prefer sometimes more powerful spells than being able to change between them. <laughs> um... Okay, are we taking a short rest? I feel like we should ask the tiger some more questions before. I mean, we could do that we while do taking anything. the short rest. If, as long as yeah. he doesn't leave. Like, is he going to be showing? Like, is he going to be showing us the direction to go in? Are Rather, you asking, I'll turn to the I'll turn can, to the tiger and be like, "Are you going to show us the direction we should go in to find the horse?" He nods, "Yes." Are you going to be coming with us to kill this horse? He shakes his head, "No." Is it more than he a day's travel? He looks. He looks like after he shakes his head, "No." He looks himself over and like presents mm. his most wounded and infected side to you, and shakes his head, "No" again. Oh. You've attempted to, then, yourself. He nods yes. Okay. Uh, is it more than a day's, like, travel away from here? He shrugs and shakes his head. Fair. Are you actually Eldrick? He shakes his head yes. I mean, why would he lie? It's a giant nodding cat in the middle of the woods. Yeah, the most trustworthy type. <laughs> <laughs> if this hey, is to be fair, no nothing had ever been confirmed before she asked. Yeah, no, it's true. What if this is the horse with the <laughs> horn as a tiger pretending to be Eldrick just to get us off guard? And we're actually going to kill Eldrick, who's the horse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> yeah. That's why you have a spell for that. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> All right. So am I hearing that the plan is to take a short rest, follow the tiger to where he leads you, and then go from there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, as okay. far as I know it. All right. That'll be our next session, then. Okay. Uh, we Before will... we break, I'm going to pop a second wind. Okay. Well, oh. we, will, uh, we will begin. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and end our short rest. So whatever you guys are going to do mechanically, go ahead and take care of it. Um, if there are any conversations or whatever to be had, um, we can pick those up whenever we, whenever we start up next time. Uh, that's second wind, Egg, right? Yep. Okay. And everybody heal 14. Okay. Wait, unless... Do we still have a thing where we heal less? The infected? Um, well, I've only done that on your hit dice so far. Hit dice. Okay. Now you scared so. the shit out of me. We gotta get this horse dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what I was gonna do there. I'm going to change this out for this one there. I think that's all I can do. Okay. Okay. Mechanically, um, so my mecha short rest is good. Okay. You're not. You're not healing any. I'm sorry. I healed all you of us. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I meant like you weren't going to use any hit dice to heal. Oh no, I filled up. I guess. Is anybody using hit dice to heal? No. No. Okay. 
All right, then mechanically our short rest is done. When we pick up next time, we can uh, do the fluffy part and then be on our way. Ooh. Yay! Uh, it will be our last session before the wedding. Uh, so there will be a, a pretty large break between then, uh, but next weekend is good for everybody. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then next weekend will be the, the big capstone prior to the wedding. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns before I bail? Nope. No? Okay. I'll see you guys in a week. I'm going to go get food. Everybody have a great night. All right. See you guys. Yep. Night, Peace. guys. Yep. Thanks. Night.